Well, I mean, uh, first of all, they're going to be making the tire anyway. So you might as well make it the right way while you're making it, right? Just, just get the information before. And the reason why you want to do it is because that's just pushing our medium forward, right? It's, it's the detail that people love. Uh, I was talking about layers in, in the game, and so you know you first start off with the entire game, and then go into uh, um, into levels and, and rooms and all. Um, you should, when you're doing the concept art, you should be talking about the little details, and the details should come from a, a lot of the story, not just like oh I went into this room, but how does that room affect your story? If I have to come up with all 50,000 ideas, you know, it's never gonna work. But if you can spread it out, you're not only gonna get better work, but you're gonna get different types of ideas. And that's, that's what's really key to me. So my, I don't look at my job as, as have to come up with all the ideas, I just have to approve them. The vision takes a while, right? To, you start off with a smaller vision, it's like, okay, I wanna do one that's like 50 years in the future, like advanced warfare. Let's do it 50 years. Okay, what's, then you have to talk about like, what does is, what is the future look like? And that's a vision. And then what does the game look like? And that's a vision. And then eventually you have an overall. The way I was telling somebody the other day, um, it's, uh, it's thousands of creative ideas, and then it's hundreds of thousands of creative decisions. And you know what, being an artist for I've, my whole life, you just know not to over, it, it, one of the first things you do when you're, when you're a young artist is like you overdo it, right? And so at some point you realize what that means. I mean, you learn that early. And uh, most of the guys do too.